When thou's dissolve the snorny hood, And float the jingling icy bird, Then water kelpies haunt the food. By your direction, a knighted travellers are allured to their destruction. Less fearsome than the dreaded Echisi, the water spirit Kelpie from the lowlands of Scotland, much like the Nuggle, woos and pursues to bring dreaded fates. A group of six bands belong to an adoptive family in the high of the highlands. The mother and father worked the land to provide nourishment and security to their fostered family, and the love they shared was that of nature and blood. But the parents always proffered to their progeny that they should never explore the depths of the lowlands. That where the Kelpies dwell was a place where children fell. But while their parents were at market one day, the children decided to disobey. All but one went to the lowlands, with the youngest boy staying at the farm. The children had not been home for quite some time, so the younger brother decided to go to see if they were all right. When he got there, he saw his father, but not as he usually was, haggard and thin, he spoke in a din. Come to me, child. Join me in the lake. The boy was a good boy, so he did as his father said. But as he held out his hand, his father grasped it, and it became stuck against his head. Panicked, the boy pulled out his ski and do, and cut his fingers off and fled. By the time he got home, his parents had returned, and they were horrified. The boy explained that his brothers and sisters had been taken by the Kelpie. His father grabbed a cross, and took his son by the hand, which was still bleeding. They reached the lake in the lowland and saw what looked like a scaly black horse in the middle of the water. Upon its back were the five missing children. The Kelpie looked at the father with green eyes and began to sing a song. The dad covered his ears and ran toward the beast, reciting, Sail back and sail bains, drive in the laird of Morphy stains, the laird of Morphy'll never thrive, as long as the Kelpie is alive. He then placed the cross on the hind of the kelpie, and it turned into a puddle of bubbles, like a jellyfish belly up on the beach. The children were free, and the good boy grew back his fingers, and then one extra on each hand. <laughs>